Hey, what's going on, guys? I got another beer review right here. Um, it's a brew dog beer. It's the Old World Indian Pale Ale. I like the bottle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you it really well. There you go. There you go. Um, I don't know if this is a series of beers that they're doing, but... Um, I had the Old World Russian Imperial Stout, and it came in like a bottle like this. Plain, boring, silver cap, chrome, silver. Um, and it's it comes in, actually comes in at 7.5 ABV. So it's, um, I guess you can call it a double. Excuse the noise, guys. It's the UPS guy leaving. But, um, alright, let's uh, get this cracked open. Let's let him go by first. Let's get this cracked open and poured into a glass and see what we, what it, you know, the aroma, the taste, and the verdict. All right, um, a little bit of smoke, not too much smoke came out of it, but uh, let's get it poured. All right. There we go. It's clear. I can see right through it. I can see the uh, the screen. Um, nice one finger worth of head. Yeah, about a finger worth of head. Let me put the bottle saver on it because I'm going to put this back in the fridge. This thing, if you guys can find these things at your beer store, I spent like six bucks on it. And, oh, okay, well, it didn't work that time. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. But... It usually seals up your beer quite well, so it's definitely worth you know the six bucks if you're going to be the only one drinking the beer. There we go. That sucker ain't coming off no more. But um, it's, it's saved me a lot of beer, especially if I don't drink them all in one night. But um, all right, um, really nice. All right, guys, I was going to save the rest of it for later this afternoon, probably when I was cooking dinner, but uh, nah, I poured the rest of my glass already. Um, I'm definitely going to give it a one thumbs up, a one thumb up beer. Um, it's, not, it's not something spectacular. I did buy them because they were on sale at my beer store. Uh, I think I got them for like three fifty or 4 bucks each. Um, and they had a lot of them. Same thing with the Old World Russian Imperial Stout from BrewDog that I did in my recent, or well, my past videos. Not not very recent. Actually, yeah, it was like two videos ago or something. But um, I'm definitely going to give it one thumbs up. And, you know, if you can find it for a reasonable price in your beer store or around your area, I'd say try it. It's something that, you know, if you like bitter Indian pale ales, this is right up your alley. It's very bitter, um, all the way through the mouth, um, front of the tongue, a little bit of bitterness, middle it, it flattens out a little bit, and the back of it, bam, you get a huge bitterness um, in the, the the back end of the beer. But uh, other than that, it's I actually drank the the first glass I poured of it pretty quick. I had maybe you know maybe like this much left, and I was like, ah, I just pour the rest of it in there. But, um, I am glad I got a couple more of these. I, um, I actually purchased three of them the last time I was at the beer store. Put one, well, actually put two in the fridge, um, and then put one in the cellar. Because it does say on the back of the bottle that, um, best before 07, 01 of, a, of a 13. And this is from Scotland, so I'm going to take it, it's uh, January 7th to 13, because I know they do their their dating system back, uh, a little backwards compared to us in, in the States. But um, that's about it, guys, and I'd say if you, if you like bitter Indian pale ales, I'd pick it up. It's not, you know, it's not something to trade for or... To, you know go online and buy it because I know damn well that buying beer on the internet is absolutely expensive especially you know if you got to get them 
from I seen a couple beers on eBay that were just ridiculous price and I was like whatever that's just stupid but um hope you guys have a good beer in hand today this afternoon after work tonight and cheers see you next time